turned out to pay their respects to a man who was a legend for both clubs. Almost 10,000 Rangers fans are here at Valley Parade. They know what Stuart McCall brought to their club. And he too, of course, has been a legend for Bradford City in two spells at Valley Parade. Walter Smith, the man who has chosen the nine in a row heroes team for today. Great round of applause, as you might imagine. It may be falling, but it's not going to dampen the spirits of those players, of the fans, or of the man himself. Wearing the number four shirt for Bradford to kick off, and Rangers take off the T-shirts. <laughs> Look at that. Every one of the Rangers players wearing the number nine shirt. Which makes it somewhat difficult for commentators. Ali McCoist gets things underway. The Rangers fans in good voice, but immediately Rangers on the back foot. Not the best of efforts, you have to say. Those Rangers fans have barely ceased singing since they entered the stadium. Gascoigne will flick from Trevor Stephen. Jury back to Paul Gascoigne again. Lovely ball. And Mark Walters, wizard on the wing, of course. Does he still have all the old magic? And McCall gets his first touch. A round of applause for him. The Rangers pick it up immediately. McCoy's waiting in the middle, as ever. Good ball, but a poor effort, an easy for goalkeeper Mark Prudhoe, <laughs> who has the uh, unwanted attention. Gordon Jury now. A decent effort, Jury makes the run. Still has it, Walters with a chance to attack Goodman. Goes for the shot, Prudhoe spills it, McCoy's in there and he goes down. And immediately, the nine in a row heroes claim for a penalty, and would you believe it? <laughs> They've got it. Less than seven minutes gone. McCoist, well, he went down rather dramatically. And somehow, he got the award. And only one man could possibly be taking this. Mark Prudhoe about to face it, wearing a Rangers scarf. Finally, McCoist. Gets the ball in the spot. The bank of Rangers fans behind him. Up comes McCoist. And he scores comfortably. 1-0 for Rangers. Textbook penalty by the ace marksman sends Kuro the wrong way. And Rangers are ahead. And he still loves scoring goals. And now Mills laying it off. And it well, looked like a good effort initially. Lay off by Mills and Dean Windass with a shot off the outside of his right foot. Lining up the shot, great run. Still he goes, still he goes. And that's comfortable for Andy Gorham, but uh, a great run. And eventually it was Mills' shot saved. Away. Looking for help. Glasgow and Leiter run, now Walters. Chance deflected, and it's Ali McCoy who pops up. Two goals in the opening 16 minutes. Some things never change. Bit heavier around the girth these days, but he still knows the way to goal, and that was a great finish. And Gas going with it, the chance to run. And he goes, edge of the box, trying to get round the first defender. Now back to Trevor Stephen. Good effort. That's going. And now McGoist. Almost in the end of it. McGoist nicks it. Goes for goal! 
just wide, and again, Mark Kudo with his outstretched fingers to that one. Lovely curling shot by Walters and a good save. Alberts. Nice ball. Gas going the chance to attack. And Walters goes for the lob. Just wide. And Mark Walters clearly still has all the tricks. Look up there. And almost judged to perfection. Now he sets up Jury. Will he go for it? He does. Alberts. What the Rangers fans would give for to see one of those hammer strikes. Well, they've just seen it, and he's found the bottom corner. George Alberts, 82 goals for Rangers. And that was his trademark. Bundled his way past McCall and then pinged it into the bottom corner. 3 0. Good ball to the near post, and Bradford have pulled one back. It's John Hendry. Great finish, he snuck in behind the Rangers' defence and swept it past Andy Gorham, so dominated in the first half. But uh, here's another chance for Don Goodman, and it's 3-2. Great finish by the former Motherwell striker. Lovely ball by Bigree. The Rangers' defence posted missing, and Goodman clipped it into the net. A teasing ball, and a good chance with a great save. By Bruno and off the crossbar, and Rangers come also close. Hately. Lovely ball for Walters. He's in behind the defence. Can he score? And now Alberts. Chance to drive away, and he's still got it, of course. Much fitter than most of the players out there. Little ball for Mark Walters once again in space. Cuts back this time. And again, denied by Bruno Walters again! Isn't that phenomenal? 10,000 of them here today, enjoying their day out in Bradford. And paying tribute, of course, to Stuart McCall and those nine in a row heroes. There's a space. Goes in field. He's looking for the shot now. No trouble. Robertson on the overlap. And it goes for him, cuts in field. And scrambled away, has richly deserved, not yet. Alberts to the far post, Heatley with a header! Howell. And now the chance, great save by Andy Gorham. Still on for Bradford. Great challenge by Brown, but still Bradford have it. And now McCall! What a save by Andy Gorham! Unbelievable! Just when the script looked to have been written, McCall with a diving header, and Andy Gorham will have loved every minute of that. Closed down by Alberts, and here's a chance perhaps for Rangers. Gascoigne, he's got support in the shape of Gordon Jury. He finds him, Jury in the clear. And what a wonderful goal! Fabulous goal by Gordon Jury. Julian Gascoigne back on late in the second half, and they've combined to clinch the match for the nine in a row heroes. Gascoigne looked up, always aware, of course, as to what's going on around them. Perfect pass to pick out Gordon Jury. And how about this for a finish? 4 2 for Rangers. Steve Longbottom again. Good gesture by him to pay the money as Jim McCall tries again. And once again, denied. And that is the final whistle. It's been a magnificent day here. Some very fine performances by some of those legends. Rangers won 4-2, but of course, it's been all about this man, Stuart McCall.